the Board of Supervisors meeting. And uh, the first item we have on the agenda this afternoon is uh, public comment on items that are not scheduled on the agenda. My name is Russell Hoff, I'm from Eureka. And I just got done fighting a test case uh, to get uh, like an anti-camping law struck down. I failed. Uh, what I want to tell you is that the homeless problem is not going away and it's best to plan before these laws do get struck down in Eureka and Arcata. I started my case three weeks after the Jones decision. Tad's winning his necessity case was one of the first ones after the Santa Ana decision. And the best place to handle this is through the county, in my opinion, is to set up a campground. Now that the endeavor is getting defunded, might be a good idea to move food, a food program there, get the panhandle, uh, this would help everybody, including the landowners, get the panhandlers out by feeding people, by having, you know, uh, sanitation there, off, you know, away from Arca uh, a few miles from Arcata maybe, a few miles from Eureka, best to put it on a bus line. And this is just a win-win for everybody, because I have seen people who get crazier and crazier because they're using crank and they're living on top ramen the whole month. <laughs> it's causing the county a lot of money and you try to sweep it under the rug, you can't sweep it under the rug anymore with the Ninth Circuit decision. Somebody's going to come through with something that's going to get the law struck down. Best to move now. In two years' time, when the Arcata and Eureka laws become unenforceable, uh, you'll have something set up to divert people. And everybody will win by this. People will get fed. And you won't have to build a third jail in this county. You're already planning on the second. You know, don't bankrupt the county by making this a county where uh, law enforcement takes everybody's money. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Supervisor, guys. I'm Nicholas Bravo. I'm with the North Coast Independent Media Center. And the issue that I'd like to speak up about at this moment is in regards to the lack of affordable housing for individuals who are homeless. Um, we have various class structures within Humboldt County. And while I'm all for seeing you know, the great, big, wonderfully well done buildings, we also need low cost housing for the working poor. Uh, for example, one individual that I met at the rescue mission uh, works at a fast food place and he lives at the mission because he simply cannot afford to get an apartment. That's unacceptable in my view. I feel that we as a city, the government is supposed to be the caretaker for those who are unable to help themselves. and. You should not only help them, but teach them so that they can eventually become self-sufficient. Because if we simply scrape them to the side of the curb, we're just going to keep having problems. And I think that uh, there is a, a lack of concern and also an apathy on the part of the, some members of government in regards to this issue. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.